So we're heading west to Campbelltown and Macrahanish campsite again. And that's where we went to school, were young adults, and started our first jobs. And uh, But this time we're going for quite a specific reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're in our favourite lay-by again. Now this uh, wee channel of ours is really just two older people documenting this later stages of their lives, so we have no expectations. But what it does mean is that uh, although the channel's 80 90% camping, because that's mostly what we do now, uh, we can make videos about other things. Now the last time we went to Campbelltown, I made two videos, one about Campbelltown a little bit, but the other one in particular was about Campbelltown Shipyard, which is the place I served my time. So we made a wee video about Campbelltown Shipyard, which was really about the positive effect that it had on me being a young apprentice there and growing up in Campbelltown. Uh, expected nobody would watch it. Uh, I did say in the description, you know, I don't think anybody else would be interested in this. But to my surprise, Rona showed me on Facebook, I'm not on Facebook, Rona showed me that some people in Campbelltown had picked up on it and were starting to share it. Thank you very much for that, because that video went from just a few hundred views, which I was tend to sit at for a while, um, to about two and a half, two point six thousand views, I think now, in in about forty eight hours. So thank you very much for that. Because we don't push this channel, you know, it's not a commercial enterprise for us. But what interested me as much as anything was some of the comments that Rona showed me on Facebook. This might be the most Campbelltown thing I've ever seen. The writing on the phone box here is upside down. So the comments I got a glimpse of were mostly about uh, people agreeing that Campbelltown had made them or given them something, um, that Campbelltown should be promoted in a poor, po more positive manner. But the one that struck me was by somebody who I'd worked with in that shipyard and also travelling around the oil yards in later years, who had obviously gone back to university or college. And they said that at one point their lecturer would start to tell them about how difficult life was for wage people in these days, you know, in shipyards and places like that. And she said, well, she sort of put them right, you know. Now, obviously, I can see the lecturer's point of view. HSE wasn't what it was. Conditions, I don't think people would generally work in that anymore. Um, but they forget about the camaraderie and, you know, the sense of community, the sense of a job well done and the sheer comedy in a place like that. They forget about that. And I got to thinking, isn't, isn't it interesting that it's always the people who have never lived a life are fond of telling you how hard your life is. Or as my grandfather, who was a bricky, used to say, I didn't know I was underprivileged until some b told me. So I came to Campbelltown from the Isle of Mull when I was about 10 years old. And Campbelltown is a remote place. It feels like an island. It's not, but it's at the bottom of the Kintyre Peninsula, which is a fair old drive. Anyway, after we left here in the early 80s, a documentary filmmaker came to Campbelltown and he seemed to be trying to show how, how deprived young adults were here, the, the lack of opportunities that there were and so on, you know. And of course, what he found was opposite. So I think it's obvious if you're school age, Campbelltown was idyllic. It's surrounded by hills and lochs. And I know it's a cliche, but that often was our playground, you know. There's a harbour and a pier we could fish off of. Um, we, you would often maybe have a bike, a jock shield special I had. People from Campbelltown will know what a Jock Shield special is. And that would allow you to go maybe five miles in either direction, off to uh, Macrahanish where we're camping, or down to Belkin Tea, where the you know, beaches, it's just a stunning place to be when you're a kid. But on top of that, the youth groups were quite active, the Scouts and Guides, you know, um, the Angling Club, the Sailing Club, the Golf Club, they all encourage youth involvement. There was plenty to do for a kid. But what about young adults? What about when you left school and went to work? Were there opportunities? Oops, I should also say football was huge. Every little area of the town had its own football team. Perhaps still do, I don't know. Maybe this stuff still goes on. But this green behind me on a summer's evening would be full of you know teams playing football in little leagues and things. Now that's not to say everybody made the most of their opportunities. This behind me is the old scout hall. And on a Sunday, some of the men who, let's just say, like to drink more than work, would stand here and sing. I don't know why they get drunk and sing away. My grandfather, uh, my grandmother and grandfather lived in the flats right next door. And I do remember somebody saying to her, how can you stand that, that on a Sunday? And she said, I love it. Some of them have got great voices. It's just that kind of place. So there was plenty of employment for young people. And um, we had the shipyard, we had a, a NATO jetty, we had Macranche Air Base. Uh, the fishing fleet was far bigger than it is now. Farming was always here. There was a clothing factory. So lots of employment, you know. And what did they spend our money on? Well, we had two cinemas, um, and two cinemas, 
No, the same activities they had as, as kids, the angling, the fishing, the golfing, they were still there, you know. So young people were able to have a decent job. Uh, the wages were never fantastic, you know, but they were okay. And they've still got all the activities that they had. Forgot to mention the pipe band, that's huge in this town. Was then, still is, a famous Mullican Tire pipe band. Um, you had, a lot of kids started to learn to play the, the pipes in school, as I did, but I wasn't very good at it. Uh, and then went on to be in the pipe band. But young people need to be with young people. And of course we went to the pub. Personally, I was in the pub seven nights a week, but it wasn't the same as it is now. The pub shut at half past 10. But there's one big thing in this town, and I suspect in all Scottish working class culture, and that is that you have to be able to hold your drink, hud your drink, as we'd say. It's shameful to be seen falling about drunk or, you know, incapable. Yeah, you have to be able to hold your drink. That was a huge thing here. And I remember uh, in my first year in the shipyard as a young apprentice, there was a dance held in the Victoria Hall here. And we were only about 16, and but we were allowed to buy drink at the temporary bar that was set up in the hall. And we got a bit out of hand, as young people do. You know, I think we were stacking the cans on the table, empty cans and all that, getting a bit rowdy. And one of the guys comes up to us and he said, stop it, you're showing yourself up. More importantly, you're showing us up. It's just the way it was. Never forgot it. So these things I learned in this community, like uh, had your drink, uh, maintain your dignity and your composure, of course, you know. Um, remember there's always people worse off than you. Be appreciative of what you've got, you know. Treat a stranger like a friend. I may have been able to learn them somewhere else, but in this community, what I learned, it became unshakable. So we're going to start heading up the road shortly, and as we do, we'll mention something more about Macrahanish uh, and Something that happened to Rona yesterday. Every time we're here, something happens that makes us think this is this is special, you know. But let me um, let me say something about Campbelltown and Campbelltonians. If you come from Campbelltown, you're a Campbelltonian. I've met Campbelltonians in various parts of the world, and they always have this thing about them. I would call it quiet confidence. But you know, people from Campbelltown are quite outgoing. You know, you'll not be a stranger for long. Uh, it's a core of confidence. It's like they know something. I think it can only come from being brought up in communities like these. So there's a wee view of Macranish campsite for you there. It's a good wee site, isn't it? It's a lovely wee site, I like it. So we've said before when we were here in another video that we, um, you can flag the bus down at the gates of the campsite mm -hmm. and it'll take you into Campbelltown and it'll drop you off at the gates. Yeah. But you can also, as we did yesterday, turn right and walk to Macranish. It's only a 10 minute walk, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. And there's a pub there and uh, you can get the bus there yeah. as well if you want. Yeah. But you know, it's, it's interesting to walk to, you get good views from the campsite, but if you stand at Macrahanish on the shore, you can see um, Isle and Dura off to the right. Mm -hmm. And if you could see down to the left, you can't because of the headland, that's, that's Ireland, Northern Ireland down there. But looking straight ahead, there's nothing between you and North America. No. no. See all the way. And I swear I've seen sunsets in various parts of the world but the best one I've ever seen was there at Macrahanish. Absolutely blood red. Oh definitely, yes, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean that, the lads that own the campsite and the staff on the campsite are great as well, aren't they? Really helpful. Yeah, good people. They'll stand in a blather with you. Yeah. I don't know if they want to stand in a blather with us, but they but do. They've got no choice with us. No <laughs> so, while I was uh, wondering about Campbelltown, Rona, you decided to get your eyebrows done, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, mm -hmm. and I went in and didn't notice the sign that said cash only. And the girl said, she says, it's OK. She handed me a card and says, you can pay online later on. I says, no, I'll just go to the auto bank. So how, how trusting how is that? How trusting is that? She doesn't yeah, know yeah. me from Adam. No, that's just you the way know, this place is. Town. But see, every, every time we come here, something happens to make us think, yeah, this is different. Yeah, you know? definitely. So anyway, it's goodbye to Campbelltown oh, once more. Once more. Another visit has done our hearts and heads yeah. good, doesn't it? Oh, definitely, oh, yes. Uh, Cleo and Charlie and Joey have all been here, incidentally. Yes, I, yeah. they all loved it. Yeah. So anyway, we'll say goodbye to Cleo, Charlie and Joey. Yep. We're going to crank it on up this road here. And we'll be back soon with another video. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.